viewers, welcome to Nagaland TV. You are watching the latest afternoon updates. The government of Delhi announced rupees 3 crore for gold winners from Delhi in Tokyo Olympics 2020. Whereas those winning silver medals will be given rupees 2 crore and bronze medalists will be given rupees 1 crore. Furthermore, an amount of rupees 10 lakh will be awarded to the coaches of the medal winning athletes. The selected participants from Delhi are Deepak Kumar, Manika Bhatra, Amor Jacob, and Satak Bhambri. The decision was announced after Deputy CM Manish Sisodia held a meeting with Delhi Sports University Vice Chancellor Karnam Maleshwari on July 9th. Khel Ratna Awadi Manika Bhatra will represent India in table tennis, while Deepak Kumar will participate in 10 meter air rifle, rifle shooting event. Amor Jacob will participate in 4 into 400 meter relay, and Satak Bhamri will be representing the country in a 4 into 400 meter rally. Moving on, U.S. President Joe Biden has nominated Los Angeles Mayor Eric Garcetti to serve as ambassador to India. The selection of Garcetti has been seen as a high-profile ally serving in one of the most difficult diplomatic posts. Garcetti, if confirmed by the Senate, would replace Kenneth Juster, who would serve as U.S. ambassador to India during the Trump administration. Garcetti is to be dispatched to India as it has been seen as overwhelmed by the surge of COVID-19 infections and deaths. He currently chairs Los Angeles Metro, the country's second busiest transit agency, which is building for extending 15 new transit lines and shifting to an all-electronic fleet. It is worthy of mentioning here that Garcetti led LA's successful bid to return to the Summer Olympic Games to American soil for the first time in three decades. Iran's new president elected Abraham Raisi has India has invited India for its swearing in ceremony on August 5th. However, it is yet to be decided who will represent India in from New Delhi at the Iranian president's oath-taking ceremony. The invitation was extended at a meeting between Raisi and India's external affairs minister as Jay Shankar on Wednesday, when the latter on a brief stopover in Tehran on his way to Russia for a three-day visit. India is among the few countries to be invited to the ceremony. Ibrahim Raisi, a hardline cleric known to be close to Iran's supreme leader, Ayatollah Ali Khamenei, was elected for the top post after winning with 61.95% of the votes in the presidential elections, which was marred by allegations of not being free and fair. Moving on, fire engulfs a multi-storied food and beverage factory on the outskirts of Bangladesh's capital city, Dhaka, on Friday. According to sources, the fire killed 52 people with at least 26 workers who were injured when they jumped from the upper floors as the fires engulfed the building. Debashish Bardhan, Deputy Director of Fire Services and Defence, Civil Defence said that the main exit of the factory was locked from the inside and many of those who died were trapped inside. Initially, the blaze began on July 8th at night where the police gave a toll-free death but then discovered piles of body on Friday afternoon. After the fire extinguished, Kaz Abdur Rahman, the group's senior general manager for exports, said that the factory caught fire on July 8th and was subsidiary of Sajif Group a Bangladeshi company that produces juice under Pakistan's Lahore-based Cezan International Limited. That is all for now. Keep watching Nagaland TV for more news and updates.